Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo elections may not be completely over. Tinubu finally breaks silence. What? I'll take that again. Maybe you didn't get it. Edo elections may not be completely over. Fin Tinubu finally breaks silence. Hello, my people. How are you today? Hope you are well and looking after yourself. We want to say a very big thank you to every one of you. Yes, every one of you for your massive support. You have been so supportive. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. Well, um, it's about a door election and the man, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu. Can you believe what he's saying? Did you just hear me? Yes, you heard clearly. This was the same man who made a video few days to the election. I mean, very shameful. It is okay to support your candidate, but to castigate another candidate, I don't think that is very helpful. The same thing Adam Zoshomole did in 2016, which robbed him of the victory for his anointed, the same anointed um, candidate by 2020. We need to be careful. An elder statesman made a video telling Nigerians, telling Edo state people, reject this person. And the reason was so vague. It has no basis at all that you fought for democracy and the person did not fight for democracy. Excuse me. Excuse me. So Nelson Mandela, the people that are president now who fought for the democracy that um, South Africa is enjoying. Was it not Nelson Mandela who lived his life in prison? See, we need to come out of this cocoon kind of politics and face real life as it is. The guy has finally broken silence. Remember the, uh, the, the governorship candidate, Pastor Sage Ize Yamu said that they were still looking at the numbers and that they were going to respond at the appropriate time. Finally, Tinubu has broken silence. Probably this is the numbers they are planning or they are looking at. Don't forget that we also produce a video to you. Yeah, Ize Yamu was advised by some eminent people in Edo State saying, ah, be careful, Lo. Accept the victory, accept it, and just move on. Anyway, let's get into the news and get all the details. Edo elections may not be completely over. Tinubu finally breaks silence. Former Lagos State and chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, has broken his silence on the outcome of the September 19 governorship election in Edo State that saw the incumbent governor and candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Governor Gordon Obaseki, win a second term bid in office. Nothing that the battle, noting that the battle is not completely over, as according to him, the losing challenge, challenger, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, has said it said he was still studying the results to decide in his next step. Tinubu, who had days before the election, made a video saying in a video in which he was saying and appealing to the Edo electorate to reject Governor Gordon Obaseki and vote Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, who contested under the platform of the APC, had some had since became subject of debate on social media following the defeat of the APC candidates. Uh, but reactions to the outcome of the polls in the statement by his media aide, Tunde Rachman, the former Lagos state governor noted that those who are using the who are using the fact that and the fact that the immediate past governor of the state, Akinwumi Obadon, did not get a second term to run for office, is not which has led to the acronym Edo Nobi Lagos, missed the point. As according to him, Abaddon took part in the primary election of APC but lost to Babatunde, Babatunde Sanwu Ulu. Tinubu emphasized that his video advert was only to appeal to the people of Edo State and not to command anybody. Some people are making it out and making it look like he was commanding them. The APC leader also took swept at a river state governor, Wike Y. Hinton, that both governors of P 
PDP and APC worked to undermine Ize Iyamu in the election. The tension-soaked Edo governorship election may not have been concluded, but the Independent National Electoral Commission an announced Governor Gordon Obaseki as the winner of the polls. The statement reads, however, one of the undermining factors he determined to determine the total win of Governor Gordon Obaseki is if Pastor Ize Iyamu has finished studying of the numbers and have concluded or accepted the defeat. For now, they cannot say that they have won. It is interesting that the People's Democratic Party candidate Governor Gordon Obaseki and the chairman of the party campaign council for a Doe governorship election, Newsom Wiki, to all are declaring that they have won because I next said it. Allegedly, APC defeated and uh, defeated because there was no rigging. There was no such thing. APC never intended to rig any election. We are studying the numbers, like our candidate said. When we are ready, at the appropriate time, we need to have our facts and figures. He will hear from us. He should not get too comfortable and go around. We've been seeing him gallivanting and going around with a thank you note to everybody. He should still be patient. We never plotted to rig any election. We are only studying the numbers. And beyond all, when we are done, when our candidate, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu, gives his final verdict as to whether the numbers are accurate, then Governor Gordon Obaseki can be comfortable. For now, he should not feel too comfortable. Finally, our brother has spoken. Uh, Shiwaju Bola Tinubu says the governor of um, Edo State should not feel too comfortable that um, their candidates rightly mentioned and said to the people that he was studying the numbers. And then uh, when he's done, he will, uh, he will reply, appropriately he also made mention of the fact that people have been making round with regards to the video he made that there was nothing about the video it was only to appeal to the people of Edo state to vote his candidate and there was nothing more to it that he never commanded them he also made mention to the former uh, lagos state governor that um, he he did not uh, he did not allow him to become governor for a second tenure. he said the governor had the primaries and uh, was defeated by the present uh, current candidate who is now the governor of Lagos State. that there is no secret about to that matter well people that's ashiwaju bola tinubu the go the, pre the man that wants to be president of nigeria leave us a comment let's hear your thoughts on this matter like us share subscribe Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. I want to say a very big thank you. I want to know your thoughts with regards to all this. God bless you. Bye for now.